Hey everyone, my name's Austin and this channel is all about digging deeper and going further to better understand faith and film and everything that is in between. If that is exciting to you, you're in the right place and you can subscribe to my channel for a new video just like this one every Friday. I recently re-watched the movie Good Will Hunting. If you've been following my channel, you already knew that. and. It just hasn't left my mind. It's been so prominent still in my thoughts of thinking about the different aspects and prominent themes of this movie and the story. It had been a few years since I had last seen the movie and I was excited to check it out again and with that have some fresh thoughts, fresh perspective that I am excited to share with you. In my opinion, and probably a lot of other people's opinions, Good Will Hunting is basically a perfect movie. And even if it's not, it's just about as close as you can get. Everything about this movie moves me to tears every time I watch it. Will Hunting is played by Matt Damon, and his character is a janitor at MIT, and he has a gift for mathematics. But he struggles to find his identity and get some clear direction in life. And due to some choices that he makes, he winds up encountering psychologist Sean, portrayed by Robin Williams, and the two form a bond and a relationship for the ages. Together, they both find a new direction for each of their lives. Now, Will is someone who believes that he should stay right in his comfort zone. Due to his past, he doesn't feel like he needs to take any risks in his life, and this has now become a prominent defense mechanism. He refuses to open up to people, instead prominently displaying his intellect as a wall to keep others out. Will is taken to a few different shrinks, and after going through them one after another, them refusing to help him, they come to Robin Williams' character, Sean. And Sean is very different than the previous shrinks or psychologists that he has been introduced to and worked with. With the other psychologists, Will was a level ahead of them as far as intellect and using his defense mechanism to break them down and push right on through them, where him and Sean are on the same level and they are both incredibly smart and Sean refuses to let Will bust through those barriers using his intellect. Now before Will and Sean even get close, Will meets Skylar and he is quickly infatuated with her and this is the first time he's felt serious feelings for another person and that scares him, it terrifies him actually. As much as he grows to care for her over the coming weeks and months, he still can't get over himself and doesn't even see those defense mechanisms in himself that he uses to push people away. He continually reverts back to his comfort zone and his friends that include Chucky, played by Ben Affleck, Casey Affleck is also in this movie, and a couple other guys. And they are just a group of very loyal but immature young men. And Will feels very comfortable there. And now, as Will and Skylar continue to grow closer together, and Sean and Will as they grow closer together, the little steps at a time, Will gets to the point in his relationship with Skylar where he has to make a decision. Will he follow her and go to California, or will he stay where he is comfortable? And at first, he refuses being solid in that he has to stay where he is comfortable, because that is what he believes in. Even though Will is sad that Skylar has left, his fear of the unknown and all of those negatives that he can't get off his mind keeps him in his comfort zone. We can't all relate to Will in how smart and intellectual he is, but on a very personal level, he's also very relatable. It is so common in today's society to see people or even be the person who is so comfortable in the familiar, not wanting to take risks, not wanting to step out for fear of the unknown. And without someone or something in our life to challenge us and motivate us to take those steps forward, to take the risk and really embrace the gifts that we are given and use those for ourselves and to impact those in the world around us. It is not until Will's friend Chucky basically threatens him and forces him to realize in a very, very loving way that 
Will is in the wrong if he stays. He is wasting his potential. He is not like those that he has been comfortable with for so many years. It is basically his responsibility and duty with someone with those gifts to go out into the world and do something with it. Not long after this, Will goes to his final session with Sean where the tears start rolling both on screen and on my face. Now, Sean and Will's sessions have become therapy for both of them, as, as in a way, they were really both dealing with things that they have now grown to help each other through. It may not have been evident the whole time, but it was definitely there. So Will now sees that Sean has his file in his possession, which shows that he grew up in the foster system, had an incredibly difficult childhood and upbringing, suffered from physical abuse, and a bunch of other stuff. And now through all the growth that their relationship has been through, Sean is finally able to get through to him. And it takes him reminding confidently and consistently Will that it is not his fault what has happened to him. He says it is not your fault. Will says I know it is not your fault. I know and each time he says it is not your fault he is breaking down another barrier in Will's defenses and he finally gets through to him and it breaks him and he just collapses into his arms, both of them crying and embracing each other. I'm crying, everyone else in the room is crying, we're all in tears, and it's a beautiful moment. And what really spoke to me this time, watching this scene in particular, was even if I put myself in Will's shoes, as someone who I was at one point just lost with no direction for my life, coming to that point, where recognizing that and seeking some clear direction from something, God comes into my life and can come into your life as well and give you that purpose and direction. You may have had these gifts for these different things that you don't know what to do with. Because of the way the world has hurt you or the upbringing you've had, even if it was a good one, you may just not know what to do with those gifts. And it is people that God can put into your life and Him especially can come in and break down those barriers that you have put up to defend yourself and really give you a clear purpose and direction for your own life. With that, we all need someone in our life who can come down, get on our level, and just, as Sean's character says at one point, his wife could level him with her eyes. And that's a beautiful line, and God can do just the same for us. He can level you, counter any defense mechanism that you can throw at him because he knows you inside and out. And though this movie deals with a lot of heavy, difficult issues, I love that we can come to this point of realization and recognizing that there are people out there who are willing to step in and God can come and step into your life and give you a whole new purpose and passion and direction. And in the movie now, at this point, Will, after embracing Sean, knows what he wants to do. He will get out, get away from his comfort zone, take a risk, and drive all the way out to California, not knowing what will happen with his relationship with Skylar, but unafraid to take that risk and see where it will go. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it is that. Do not be afraid to let someone into your life who can speak truth into that and give you that direction that will knock down any barriers that you have built up over the years and help you to affirm those gifts that you have been given to really impact the world. Goodwill Hunting is such an incredible movie from a writing perspective, an acting perspective, directing, all of it just combined is the perfect storm for what is, in my opinion, as close to perfect as you can get. Let me down in, let me down in the comments. Please, please don't let me down in the comments. Let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite moments from Goodwill Hunting are. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, just make sure you're subscribed, and share the video with someone who you know would enjoy it. 
I will see you in the next video.